What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvid and today we're back on the Pokemon Showdown server. We're going to be using this team by Ledon. Ledon, I, uh, shout outs to him. There we go. I know you actually, this is, this is, I think this might be Charles's team. I, re, I named the wrong team, but we're going to be using this Miracle team. Um, if you guys have, um, teams that you want me to use, fun teams, definitely, 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 definitely. Um, link me them links in the description down below very happy to use those so we're gonna use two versions of these uh, there's one with sticky web there's one with spikes and we're just gonna get right into it I definitely want to use for alligator very cool Pokemon I have never used it um, in this tier so I'm immediately looking at this one I kind of wish I had spikes because this the for alligator would be quite good dragon ass I mean um, just destroy yo that's not me um shout outs to 883 um did I decay I have not decayed <laughs> um but yeah we're gonna go right into the action we're gonna mammoth swine this guy we're gonna rocks mammoth swine uh, maybe a little Nido King in here and there, you know, maybe a little Latios here and there. He doesn't have any Dragon Resist. So this is going to be fun. Thanks. 83. Um, very interesting team. Um, I have a lot of things that destroy him. So I feel like he has some still learning the tier. So there's still a lot still learning the tier. So there's still a lot to learn. That's literally what I was about to say. Uh, so we're gonna spore this um, this star after. He's gonna bird. I don't have a flying resist. Um, I could get two hazards out of this. I could get nothing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get more out of it then. Okay. All right, so I'm expecting Ice Shard slash Earthquake. I don't think he'd ever Rapid Spin because Gengar coming in would be... Oh, he does Rapid Spin. Very surprised by that. So he didn't respect my Gengar. The reason is because Rocks, you know, if he does keep up Rocks, whatever, right? Like, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, especially because I get to Draco here. Uh, Smeargle could come in. He does sturdy, so he's probably going to knock off KO. Yeah, so that's the route he's going. Um... I want to go to something that he can't guard against. Mammal Swine. <clears throat> so we go for the EQ here. The only flying resist he has is... I mean, the only... Yeah, the only... Uh, you know what I'm saying. Um, the only... You get what I'm saying. So this could go a lot of ways. I could go for Crash and Flinch, and that would put me in a phenomenal spot. But I think it's superior to... He actually knocked. Good play. Um, that was... Uh, decent risk. I mean, it wasn't, <coughs> it wasn't super high risk, but um, yeah, he doesn't want this setting up. He's actually um, leveraged. He made the right decisions every turn. If, he, if I went Gengar on his rapid spin, I'd have a lot of control over this game. But now, um, like him controlling my sticky web so well was phenomenal on his end. And I think I may have lost. It's hard to say. We're going to see. Um... I know these things tend to be right now swine plus the kingster wins Gengar as well but my Gengar is scarfed so this is likely sash which means it two it kills me so I'm gonna just yeah, sashed. I don't have anything to guard against. I don't have any. Um, my Latios being alive would have been nice. I do wonder if he uh, switches to Milotic here. If he does, it would be a choke. Yeah. If he went Milotic and I EQ there, he would have choked the game. Um, yeah, I think he wins. I think he wins for sure. If I had something to hit the Milotic, maybe not. But I can still win. It'll it'll just be interesting. He's Life Orb. Okay. 
that's actually really good for us. Um, that's actually really good for us. He's life orb. Um, hmm. Depending. Depends. So it gets disabled there. Which means he can <coughs> outrage lock. Um, if the Milotic is max speed, I lose. So if that's the case, I'm not even going to play these games. Uh, I'm not even going to play these games. I should sack Chomp here. Sack Zam. If it's max speed, I lose. Well, even if it's not max speed, I lose. Because I don't have Sticky Web up, so Chomp kills my Nido King. So I have to hope he's not max speed, and I... Now my my play here is to sack Nido King for the extra life orb recoil. Um, and then go Mammoth Swine, I hope I one shot. Is he timid? Okay, yeah, so we win then, okay. Woo! The big brain this. The big brain plays. GG, bro. Um... I think I played that sloppily. He played very well to counter my uh, hazards. I didn't leverage my <coughs> tools very well. I mean, who could have expected life orb, man? Um, Milotic. If I knew it was life orb, I'd have played Gator differently. Gator would have swept if he was life. If I knew it was life, especially Surf, it means you can't even burn me. But I have to respect these hazard controllers. He has two defog, defog spin. So, um, gotta respect that. Uh, very weak to Mammoth Swine. Very weak to the King. Um. I don't know why I thought Gengar was life orb. I think there's a variant of this where it's life orb. Or I'm thinking of something else. Hmm, whatever. Either way, um, the gator plus my hazards are going to go a long way. Actually, I was thinking maybe it's better to... Like, star me leading, scalding, letting me sporing isn't ideal. Doesn't have a ghost resist. Uh, mm, he does lead Dragonite though. Um, so many ways this can go. I think Rocks Spore plus the Hazard is gonna go a long way. He's gonna East. Well, he doesn't East speed. He's long. Okay. Um, interesting decision, but it doesn't bother me. Um. I could be getting greedy here, but is it worth it to Memento if he's not going to wake up? Yeah, it is. He wakes up. Okay, so he gets greedy there. It's a misplay. Because um, now I get to Swine. Uh, swine is good, but I don't have a choice here. Fire Punch. Anybody else expected the burn there? Destroyed. Uh, very, very great for us. Uh, so many ways to go about this. <clears throat> Since we're getting hit here, opens up my Latios a lot. Um, I just don't want to waste my Nido King here. If he defogs, if he defogs, and I go Gator. Scarf guard for sure. There's so many ways to go about this. Um, just don't know anything about this scissor. His team is seems decently bulky. Uh, I, I don't think he's threatened enough by my mammoth slime to bullet punch. <clears throat> but perhaps he is. I just don't want to give him a free mine. Hmm. Who's more important? I'm going to go Gator because it guarantees me value. I don't think he ever U-turns this defog, which I was hoping he wouldn't. So I get to Waterfall uh, 
which means I get to 2 a KO uh, this next time with Scarf Guard Shadow Ball, but so I'm expecting at least 45-50% from the Sheer Force Life Orb hit. 63, that's good damage. Yeah, and I'd be outside of the range of any old hit. Because <clears throat> just off, just typing wise, Gator is amazing. Uh, I'm really not sure what to expect of this. Latios, Psychic. So that's Specs. Specs. That did a lot to me. You're Specs. Okay. So I should be able to just Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt might kill his Scizor. No, I'll Psychic instead. Um, it doesn't kill it. I was afraid of that, but because the star me is so uh, problematic. I just, if the Gengar wasn't Scarf, I think I won. Well, I don't have Crunch. That's not true. So let's just kill this. I'll eat the, he doesn't even go for the BP. Part of me thought he might not, but <coughs> um, at this point, I'm just weighing my options, right? I need to know, okay. Uh, I mean, you go to Starmie, I'd assume you'd have to have Ice Beam. I mean, this doesn't make much sense otherwise. The question, though, is if you do that, you give me a mine. Uh, mm, I have a lot of, I have, like, if I go Nido King, he loses a mine. If I go to Gator on this, he loses a mine. If I go to Mamoswine on this, if I keep the Latios... Um, helps me versus his star me later on the question is just what I think he'll give up and what I do after that so let's say I give him Latios here to an ice beam I get to go gator here in waterfall and I too would KO everything well that's not true I'd have to go to Mamoswine and crash just who's more important I'll ice, let him ice beam I didn't think he'd do that again because it's like one switch there like Starmie wouldn't be the mon you'd go to but I'll just crash here um, it's clearly specs come on man that's a big that's a huge fucking crit there that's a huge ass crit man um, That that's a big crit uh, so he sacks Clef I wanted to DD there. I guess I could have DD'd and, and just played around with the fact that he's not Scarfgar. It doesn't have to be. Um, that's frustrating though. Psychic. Okay. Here comes Gilly Square. I should switch, but well, should double out to because if Gator might be slower than his Gilly Square, um, it's clearly Scarfgar. But the dude went for Ice Beam on my Latios. Well, it's hard to say. I don't. I don't know enough about these sets to to say any of this stuff with real confidence. Um, this could go a lot of different ways. So let's see if the Glide Score is Scarf. This won't kill me. Yeah, that's that's. Uh, I think that's that's not Max Attack. Wow, he lived. Um. But this should be the game then. Cause Fire Alligator is faster than Neo King. Certainly faster. Yeah. Um, Gengar coming in can't do the trick. Cause I won't die. And I sweep with Shadow Ball, I'd assume. Okay. So the Gengar was Neo Scar, meaning he gave me several <coughs> opportunities to sweep him with Gator. Maybe. He just felt like I didn't. Ha he didn't have a shot, so he's just like, oh, "Fuck it." Him subbing actually hurts him because it allows for me to uh, to uh, on on ice uh, on disable my ice beam. Um, so now Sludge Wave should do enough. If he doesn't, then I just ice beam again, and he has to pray. But even that won't work because I just switch and switch back in. I'm very surprised he took the waterfall. Should have ice punched. Guess there was no reason not to, right? So yeah, uh, so I said if he did that, if he roosted, then I just um, ice beam him in the next turn. So doesn't really doesn't work. Really doesn't work. If he switches out, you know, it wouldn't have worked either. But um, yeah, pretty solid first game. Well, second game. I don't know why I thought it was the first. 
Uh, we might be able to get to 1600 this life as we knock him out with the young beam. Yeah, we each shot a ball. So I'll head calc that for future reference. <coughs> 55% is about what Shadow Ball does to the Nido King. Nido King is no slouch. You know, I know he doesn't get the credit defensively that Nido Queen does, but Nido King, you know, he's about that smoke. So uh, we're about to play this guy's 1476. Where am I at now? 15, 38. Good, good, good. If I win every game, I win. Um, win at life. Very weak to for alligator. So I'll leverage. What would I need? Rotom is the only impediment. So what would I? Well, I guess the scarf though, because you're a scarf guard shop as well. But I guess because I've used what four teams since I've started this tier, so I don't really know the standard. Um, and because of that, I'm assuming everything that I faced is what everybody else. What I've used is what everybody else has. It's obviously not the case. Nido King is a huge issue. Um, but late game Gar could do its thing. I'd have to overwhelm Scizor. So let's see how he rolls this out. Because uh, I cripple Amon immediately. I'm very surprised he just allows me to cripple his Empoleon immediately. Um, while I could hazard and then hope for the best. Well, he could wake up this turn and that would be just a disaster like period um there's some several i could go hard mammoth swine here hope he doesn't wake up double back to smeargle it's the best case and i think that just kind of ends me back in the same situation um i could wait which i think is smarter um yeah because if he wakes up this turn that turn right there he woke up i can spore again and hope for the best next time so he doesn't wake up. The probability of him waking up this time is decent. Um, like a Siki Web, then Memento. The question is just how am I going to prevent him from defogging again? I need to beat down his game. I don't think I can get around this. I need to beat down his, um, his Rotom before I get any real mileage here. Um, and the probability of him waking up here is pretty high. Um, well, I want to. I'm gonna condition him into defogging before I do anything. So I'll <clears throat> sticky web here, let him defog, right? So I know <coughs> the next turn he's gonna defog for sure, which gives me the free switch uh, into <coughs> excuse me into Nido King. Um, Right, this turn I know he's gonna go for defog if he wakes up. So if he doesn't wake up, then it puts me in a great spot. Um, as I just earth power hard, he leaves it in. If he wakes up, he's probably gonna skull knock me out. But now, as I said, he's uh, I have a, a advantage. Um, it's just a question of how I want to go about this. I want him. To, I want to put him in a position where he's feels forced to sack this Empoleon um, because the thing that I'm attacking him with is so dangerous. So I'm going to go to Fralligator with a Waterfall. This has two benefits. If he goes to Rotom, I get that big chunk of damage that I need, which is about 30% if he's not um, defensive. get that big chunk of damage. But Fralligator <coughs> is so dangerous that people don't want it just setting up in their face. So, yeah, 27%. That's good. It's good damage. Um, I might have to play this a different way. I just don't know. Him waking up that turn was a big deal. But, I mean, it's you know, probable that he would have woken up. If I went Swine instead, he would have had to switch. A new Nido King wouldn't have KO'd him. But I knew I couldn't play that sport game over and over, so I actually let him pull me on pretty well. Um, I don't want to go Latios because then he just full switches on to Scizor. And that doesn't really get me anywhere. So I'm going to have to go to Gengar. He actually Will O Wisp. Which is good because I figure he's going to stay in here. People just play their Rotom like Landorus T. Rotom is a Landorus T of fucking Gen 4. I'm just going to call this Gen 4. 
Um, him willow wisping there would have been great for me. Yep, excellent. <clears throat> so that's rocks damage plus gator later on. Um, especially because I could have been specs there. So the fact that he allowed me, oh, he's allowing me. So yeah, Mamoswine and what's his face? I'm willing to sacrifice Gengar because DD Gator and Sticky Web goes crazy. And the Scizor might be offensive. So that's actually of, um, still far from over, right? He looks like he's in the lead right now. But one Dragon Dance changes all that, all that. Rocks plus a dragon dance. If none of those are scarf, meaning Togekiss or Garchomp, it's over. There goes Togekiss here, which is could go a lot of different ways. He could be scarfed um, and just flinch the hell out of everybody right now. And if that's the case, he's going to go for that anyway, so I'm not even going to um, try to play the whole maybe maybe not game uh empoleon has gone excellent guard chomp so clearly scarfed so scarf outrage is coming the question is just whether or not mammal <clears throat> not speeds well that might not have speed luxury um now if i go swine here on his outrage i take a ton i live i kill him i might be dead though the question is just whether or not I rather have Latios or Mamoswine. So if I if he outrages, because <coughs> he might have Dragon Claw, which would just kill me. If he outrages, and um, if he outrages, knocks me out. I go Swine. I shard him. My Swine survives. Uh, I don't think he well, Swine has good defense. If he outrages, excellent. Okay, I, I figured I wouldn't be low enough to wear. <clears throat> so him losing that scarf is a big deal because now my mam my uh, Fraligator is a menace and I still have a Sleep Fodder in hand. So, <clears throat> question is, does he feel threatened enough to bullet punch here? Um, no. So that's great for my Fraligator. So he does go for SD. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to Earthquake again so he can't roost. So let me think. If I go to Gator here, Waterfall. I doubt that Togekiss is Scarfed. So he BPs. Rotom is within range. Everybody's within range. I, I <clears throat> It's going to come down to what the Togekiss said as I think. Because he bullet punches here of course. He might not because he fears the Dragon Nest. And so I don't even take any damage. So it, it's going decently. Like about what I expected. About what I expected. Um, so many variables, right? Because uh, he gets the guts off here. Um, so let's say I go Smeargle. And he... Let's say I go Smeargle. Um, he gets the, and I go for Sticky Web. Um, to guarantee that, no, probably be better to still go for Rocks. Um, I'll go Latios, uh, first. Thunder Wave, fuck. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, that's not good. I'm really not sure what to expect from this. Thunder Wave isn't great. It's not the end of the world, but it's it's not great. Fire Fang, so you can't please hit. Come on, man. This is some bullshit. Come on, man. Ah, uh, okay. So he seems to be... That, that first para was a big deal. Um, seems to be slow. So... And he doesn't have guts, so um, unless he double T waves, which would be, oh, I look like a king. I look like a king just now. So he wanted to sack Rotom because he wanted to save the Intimidate. Um, <clears throat> issue is, let me think, Rotom Will-O-Wisp. If I get rocks up first, let him Will-O-Wisp or Volt Switch. <clears throat> um, 
I'm thinking because I don't want him to get enough health back to where it, it took 27% so two leftovers turned yeah that Rotom play was actually it actually helped him but it wasn't supposed to so I'm gonna go Latios here to sack it um, so he's not healthy enough to take on my gator so I get to waterfall here if he goes back ah this might actually hurt me okay he sacks it which is the best case um, wild charge okay perfect that's best case because I'm pretty sure I am well, I know I'm faster um, All rocks. Okay. Uh, that's actually fine. That's actually fine. He got, that's actually fine. Um, because he has Thunder Wave, obviously, I'm never going to let him. Um, so the question is, does this one shot? He's Scarf. No, he's Leftovers. Please fucking break through. Okay, he ch might have choked. It depends. Um, he ch definitely choked by not going for the Hex. Um. Yeah, he should have went for the hex. Uh, I did not think he'd be faster than my Gator, but I mean, if he's any speed, Tobikus, so he probably didn't have any bulk. Um, that was a lot harder than I think it should have been for me. Uh, but when you're playing these kind of matches, you have to factor in every possible set. So if I just knew he was generic sets, I you know, Gator could have won that game. I thought he'd be like Guts, Luxray, Intimidate, Thunderway. Like stuff like that is what I'm talking about, man. Um, intimidate, fucking, the Scarf Chomp is an issue. I don't. I, I, and I realize I have not been using the Sticky Web well. I might just take it off. I have not been using, like, the Smeargle has brought no value to me. But people are going heavy. I don't know if Smeargle had a, like, you know, a usage or high usage or something. But people are just not giving me the breaks. Um, well, I mean, it's not supposed to be easy, right? It's not supposed to, or else just be boring. A bloodbath of boringness. Uh, Nido King, two Sashers, right? Nido King is a bitch for him. Uh, this is tough because Loom... Loom is is the problem for Smeargle, but nothing I have can really handle it. I'm actually gonna sacrifice Latios for the Loom. I know he's gonna lead Loom. Um, the Psychic, he does go hard sis. The Loom might not be Sash, or he just like, oh, it's a waste of time to get my Sash. Give my sash up there. I wish it makes sense because, you know, now I'm in a tricky spot in, you know, having to stare down this fucking scissor with my Gengar. If I U turn, we're staring down Zam. I need rocks. But. Uh, Skullgar, any U turn. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to position myself to where I can control what he goes to. If Zam comes in, I'll take it. I'll control. I, I don't mind Heatran coming in. Uh, well, that's that's not true. If the Heatran is max speed or Scarf or something. The Earth Power is Gets a Spadef drop. That does a ton. Hmm. Ah, I would be pissed if I just gave up my fucking Smeargo here. Uh, let's switch. So he goes Loom. I figured as much. If he were to switch, he'd go to Loom. Um, it's probably Sash. I, again, uh, not an easy game. Uh, the Scizor beating me down. Um, Bruce, excellent. Because now it's very likely he's going to fear the fire move. I could go Gliscor, but I don't have the Cojones to go for... For... Um, Anything other than Earth Power here. Yeah. What was the positioning? There's nothing to really pivot. If he's max speed, I doubt he can kill me. Um. Mm, maybe. If he's at attack. I don't know why he'd have attack, though. Unless it's Scarf Tran. 
Because I could have killed his Gliscor there, but there is no reason to have him U-turn out there, not fear of flamethrower at all. Um, and just waste my Nido King's value when I could. If, let's say, this case with the, the likelihood of him going Gliscor and being faster than me and uh, being able to knock me out is very slim. All that's very slim. Very slim. Hmm. This bad boy right here. Gonna give up my swine. Me thinks. So, I mean, <laughs> when I get this young Quake off, nobody wants the smoke. But I think Nido King is a lot more lethal. Uh. Do I need Smeargle's contribution though? Maybe not. I think my thing is that I don't want him to just feel frisky and 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 uh, focus blast at my swine and kill it. Because <clears throat> if I if I can guarantee he wouldn't do that, then um, swine would be the better save because I could EQ come back and you know be good. But I think I need rocks for Sash Loom and Gator interactions later on. Uh, what do I do though? Adios isn't that good though. Sad psychic. The reason I don't wanna um <clears throat> I don't want to just sack my Ladios and go Mamoswine instead is because uh Oh that's life orb. Is it not? Shadow Ball doing that much? That has to be life orb. Okay, whatever. I'll break the sash. Uh so it goes clef. That's perfect. That's perfect. I should just attack me because he's fearing um, Smeargle coming in for free, which I don't think he wants. Stealth Rocks, surprised. Very surprised by that. Um, that means I could have went Smeargle there and gotten up bands. That was my only opportunity, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that Shadow Ball did a million to my fucking... Mammoth Swine. I don't. I think he's life for Balakazam. So that's if that's the case. How am I end gaming this? I'm never getting enough rocks. So let me give that up. Twenty-seven percent. I guess that's a lot for a lot of use. While he doesn't guard, I, I, I well against Ghost at all. Um, uh, he might survive Shadow Ball. And he has solid enough switch ins and Tran and Scizor. And Scizor coming in puts me back at square one. Yeah. Yeah, I do wish I, I had gone for my Smeargle there because I could have gotten. Either Sticky Web or a Spore off. Maybe Sticky Web would have been a little better if the Gengar, if the thing isn't Sash. Uh, so I gotta go for the route that guarantees me value. Um, don't know enough about this guy to feel confident in. Cause he's probably just gonna go to Scizor. Oh, it's left. He's trained. Okay. Okay then. Um. That's good and bad. It's good and bad. And obviously, I get a kill with Neo King. Earth powers. Could see him doubling out, but it's fine. Lava Bloom. Hmm. Yeah, we pivot to Sizor here for two reasons. He's either gonna go for uh, Taunt Lava Bloom. Toxic, something of that nature, or he's gonna go to the Scizor. I don't want my, my the Latios Heat Train matchup is not favorable for me. Please do not fucking burn me. It's fine. It's fine. Scizor has to take a big hit here, and then we're staring down. Um, it's an annoying burn, but it is what it is. Uh, okay. I wonder, wow, I'm taunt here, BP, I wasn't sure if he would, um, this game isn't as small, falling as smoothly as I expected, 
Uh, and similarly to the last game, this guy could also not be Sashloom. But I think with the combination of whatever, I'll just waterfall. I'll knock. The last one did 63, so I'm pretty sure that killed, but might not have. Um, so we're going to have to get frisky here. Because I could go swine. Well, he could be jolly. That won't work. I could go swine. I go double back to gator here. Like me doubling back to gator. Um, like if he thinks the, the Gengar's being sash is the big issue then I mean the Gengar scarf is the issue then well if he's a jolly he wins anyway so I must sludge bomb even if he goes to Fralegate mm, let me think if if he spores me I have, I have sleep talk spore. I have sleep talk, yeah, sleep talk. Um, but but uh, it'd be sash, and I'd actually sludge bomb is better here. If he goes back to Heatran and doubles back, then he wins. I don't think I played this game super well. Um, I certainly would not have stealth rocked with the cliff because he gave me a lot of leverage to bring in my smeargle there. Um, okay, so it wasn't even sash. This is what I'm talking about. Like, are these endgame scenarios even real? Is this real life? Is this real life? So, this game probably is over. I mean, I'm not sure how he's going to pull this off. Even if he burns me. Let me count uh, Gar versus Zam. I still think the better place to Dragon Dance, even if, even if he burns me. Um <clears throat> fuck me, bro. Uh fifty percent. Because the reason I did that is because he should not be able to two a kill me. Uh because he got very lucky there. Um thirty percent burn chance. But I think even if now he has protect, which is a bitch. Um but I don't want him to be able to one-shot me and I can't one-shot him with my Gengar. Because if I was one-shotting him, Dragon Dance is always a play there. Because um, if I wasn't killing the the Zam anyway with Shadow Ball, I'd need to either break a Sash or do the damage. So for Alligator, Burn, come on computer, you are lagging like a bitch right now. I'm not sure uh, if EQ would kill him. That's why I want to calc. Uh, <clears throat> and Earth Power would do 52 from. I don't want to take the Life Orb recoil and then have to take Earth Power. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, so I don't die to protect, but. Oh well. If we lose, we lose. Um. <clears throat> He, he got um, the fortune he needed. If Shadow Ball kills, it kills. If it's Sash, then I learned that Shadow Ball does 63% to... Um, okay, so that's the route he's taking. Okay, I'll just hit the Focus Blast then. Surprised he took this route. <clears throat> but not really, but... He, he must have just known he was going to die. So he's like, I'd rather put you in a Focus Blast hit situation, which... <clears throat> Gengar has never let me down there. Um, the fact that you banked on the burn means you never deserve to win to begin with. Nah, GG, bro. But scum stuff. Nah, that was his only. Um... <laughs> no worries, bro. You went for it, right? So you were gonna. You could have earth powered there, but you lava plume, so you wanted the burn. But nah. Um... Yeah, you only. You went for the 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 win con he had, so. Why do I have, actually now that I think about it, oh, I guess liquidation isn't in the game. Because I'm like, why do I have uh, waterfall when liquidation is a move? Um, so, let's see, Heatran, why am I even, cal well, I guess it does matter, I wanna see how much 
uh, Earthquake. I'm winning these games that I feel like I should be losing. You know? uh, life Orb. Burned. Plus one. So EQ and Waterfall. Waterfall did what? I don't remember how much it did, but EQ out damaged. But it wasn't a guaranteed kill. So it was 37% chance. But I'm adamant though. Yeah, Earthquake was a play. And gut wise, I was like, I feel like it out there, but I just. Thanks, bro. Um, shout outs to Mariana. <clears throat> and grab one last one. Well, I guess we can try to run it out at 1600. Guys, I love each and every one of you. I just want you to you know that. I've been going through. Uh, nothing is wrong like I mean I'm, I'm not as disciplined as I'd like to be and that bothers me but I know I'll work on it it's one of those weird things I know it'll be fixed but I can't help but feel disappointed in myself I think that's what's going on with me and so I just had this offness about my energy lately and I, it's hard to like usually I can bounce back and it's been super off lately and I'm not sure what kind of have inklings but uh, yeah um, but I'll be fine that's the point and I just wanted to express my love and appreciation for each and every one of you this guy's a very solid team in in relation to mine um, very difficult team for mine to beat because he has all the all the stops all the stops wish I had spikes here um, I haven't used that other team yet but Mammoth Swine plus, like, what poorly played Skarm. Poorly played Skarm or Snorlax versus Swine's an issue. So Tangrowth comes out, which makes sense. Um, I was always going to lead Smeargleer to shut down the uh, the rocks. I mean, to get a my uh, No, I didn't have to do it this way, actually. I could have led knowing I'd scare out the Tangrowth and then pivot to Smeargle. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably superior. Now, what I think about it, Latios is an issue, right? So, I um, actually don't want my Scarf on guard. So, if he knocks or Sleep Powder is here, both are um, best cases. Excellent. Uh, Hippodon, Snorlax makes sense. So, what we're going to do here is pivot Mammoth Swine, see what his initial is going to be Snorlax. Okay. Seems to be choice, maybe. If he's fucking thick fat, I'm gonna be pissed. You never leave Snorlax in here, though. Yeah. Uh, mm. If I get the flinch, it's a done deal. Yeah. I mean, he made the correct play. But now I know his Snorlax uh, is. is. Um, You fear flamethrower here. I'll ice beam in case Ladias comes in. Um, Cause I wanted to attack into Snorlax there. But now it's weakened enough to where it can no longer guard comfortably against Ladios. I mean, Gengar was supposed to be a threat, but no longer is no longer is because he has a Hippodon that can come in freely. Nido King is an issue. Um, I don't see an item, so maybe Chesto. That's okay. It's probably Chesto, which means it can't come in comfortably again. I am intrigued. Body slam, perhaps. I mean, if you're Chesto, you have a coverage move. Um, there's nothing I feel like. like certainly, for Alligator is the man with the plan here, but uh. There's so many ways to go about this. If I just chomp on his team with supreme aggression, well, Ice Beam did. If he doesn't paralyze me, I'm in a, such a great spot, but I really need this Nita King. But would Body Slam be the move you'd go for here? And is Earthquake the other move you have? Hmm. It's what I meant earlier about, you know, I always have to weigh all the risk versus rewards. I think ultimately I'm, I'm open to Gengar getting killed. Um, I might be high. Uh, earthquake, so 
EQ, nah, you're high. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Earthquake was the move. Damn, um, so I'll go back to Swine and Crash on his Skarm to force the Nido King back in. Nido King is gonna get a kill. Um, mm, it's a big miss, man. That's a huge miss. That's like a game losing miss. I might have just lost. I might have just lost. So we're gonna have to play this differently now. Uh, yeah. Is I pop a fuck? Fuck. Yeah, I might have just lost. Yeah. Oh well. He, well, he recycled and got it already. So he can't get it again. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, swine. Swine's an issue. So him just allowing me to um, knock out his skarm is a big deal. He cannot switch into this. But I have to deal with that spike. Oh, smart guy. He knows that... Uh, just a couple things he knows. He knows that uh, he'll live. Hmm, a couple ways to go about this. Um, I know he's Giga Draining for sure. So I'll adios hard first. If I wasn't confident in Giga Draining, I'd do something differently here. I'm pretty confident a Latias comes in here and every fiber in my being is telling me Draco this guy because, well, Draco is always the play. The only way Draco doesn't pay off is if he goes Clef. If he goes Clef, I pivot to Nido King. I mean, I guess I'm you know, struggling with the with the. Um, there's a couple, there's a couple ways to go about this. So I'll catch his Latias here. Oh, he sacks Tangro. So now all I need to do is force the Draco and Dragon Dance up with my Fralligator, and this game's over. I'm very surprised he uh, he probably didn't expect me to Draco and was gonna um, maybe no but even then I don't think for I mean Tangro is too important um, but he's 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 probably high um, so him losing him losing that there again Thunder Wave could be in the mix somewhere so it goes to Latias um, the only way he can knock me out is his Draco. No, he could have some random Dragon Pulse or something like that. If he has Thunder Wave, that's my only concern. Thunder Wave. Uh, he could also be Calm Mind. Calm Mind could be an uh, issue. If he Calm Minds here. If he Calm Minds first, I Draco and has Roost. I could lose to this thing. So I'll go Hard Smeargle. Ice Beam comes out. I see Leftovers. Mm. Again, I could lose. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so Ice Beam will not kill me at 66%. So I'm going to go for broke. I either win the speed tire or I kill him. Um, or I live. Oh, destruction. Recover was never the play there. I'm not sure what he was thinking with that recover play. I don't know where. Okay. Um, so King is always safe here. Um, hit him with the wave, even up there in calm mind. I could taunt, but only if he's calm, only if sludge wave isn't doing enough. I'm a modest sludge wave, like you're done, you're done in this town, yeah. Like, if he was starting to do that and it wasn't doing enough, then I'd taunt him. He actually lost for sure by switching just now. Um, yeah, like his only win con is um, getting that recycle off. We sack swine. Oh, I mean, I guess I could just uh, sack Latios. Just didn't want him to. Oh, it's facade. Okay. Psychic here. Um, Gator wins. Gator. GG, bro. All my mods win at this point. It's literally weak to all of them. This was facade. So I actually got a dragon dance there, if I'm honest. But there's no way you're eating this. Yeah, Sheer Force, Life Word, Boosted, Gator, Adamant, GG. Um, no way. No way, bro. I'm curious how much this does. Maybe 80. Wow. Must be maxed for that. 
Um, so we're close to 1600. Shall we have another owl one? Hmm. My enemy, Crawdaunt. 1659, just good. He's higher than I. Which might uh, defeat here, uh, my victory here for me at least. Um, should put me at around um, 1600, so gonna win so but guys who are higher have more experience with the tier and thus are harder to deal with um, I learned my lesson a bit versus the smeargle uh, versus I wonder what his initial would be to shut down a, a smeargle I could see Suicune or you could have something then pivot to Suicune um, I don't have a game plan let me set this up Igar is horribly against Mammal Swine. Um, well played Nido King is a bitch. Um, end game Gar, mm, it's not that great. Mm, it's gonna come down to Gator and Hazards. And you're gonna see what I mean. Uh, if I can get the right amount of pivots to where his Scizor is about 60, but more importantly, his Crawdon is low. More importantly, his Crawdon gets low. So this must be Fast Strand. This doesn't make any sense otherwise. Yeah, it's Fast Strand. Okay. So they're running Timid. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, it's kind of annoying because he might get rocks. Get some Magma Storm off though. I may have Surf. You might never know. You might not know. Uh, he does have Taunt. Magma Locks. So it's probably gonna taunt me again. Again, you could get surfed. So it's probably smarter to just go scissor. You have the leverage. Um, I guess that's a waste of Aladios if he's Max Spadef. But he can't be Max Spadef because he's timid. So this is even more reason to... The crit mattered. If he didn't crit me, I'd Thunderbolt. Um, but I get next to no value if he doesn't switch. If I roost, then mm, no, if he taunts as I roost, but if he goes to scissor as I roost, I get next to no value. Oh well, but I'd like to thunderbolt his scissor on switch because that sets up my mammoth swine a lot better. And he can't come, he has to watch his health. I, I lose a lot more value. Roost, roost, uh, taunt, uh, protect was never to play, bro. So he's gonna taunt now. What is this kid doing? What's homie doing? Yeah, he's fucking up. Uh, maybe he doesn't have a game plan. That's like a really poor decision that he just did with the protect um, and magma storm combo. This is like a horrible play, like horrible. And aside from the thunderbolt, just horrible decisions. Should have went scissor from jump, from jump, bro, from jump, bro. Um, But as I said, Gengar, low hanging fruit, no, he's U turning. Positioning wise, Gengar forces in certain mons. Did not expect Chomp to be the mon forced in, though it makes some sense. Um, the issue with Chomp is if you're. If you outrage luck, you lose Chomp. Gladios is good, though. It's good, though. It's good. Um, so I'm actually not super comfortable letting Gladios go. Um, this is his, definitely his rocker though. Um, which makes me want to go Smeargle. So many routes. If I was Specs, Specs Ball to a KOs. Um, if, if he has Dragon Claw, I guess that would suck. That would, it does make some sense. I lose a lot of value if he Dragon Claws. Um, It's not a game I can play safely. Yeah, you know where you if you have outrage, there's no way you use it there. I knew that much. So here you scout for you you Scizor Heatran, Scizor Heatran, Scizor Heatran, um, Scizor Heatran outrage. Um. I'll drop it on his scissor. 
He actually... Wow. Come on. Is that a calc? That is some bullshit. That is some bullshit. There is no way. That one, that's a shit set. Well, I guess maybe not. It worked, right? So, maybe not. Fuck, that's a bitch. That's a bitch. Ah, 1% though? That's a bitch. The reason is I can't... Like, you'll see what I mean. Um, I'm gonna get fucking massacred. Well, I haven't shown that I'm Scarf, so it wouldn't be wise to go hard Gengar. I mean, hard Heatran. Well, actually, I paralyzed the Tran, so I'm not in actually as bad a position as I thought. I paralyzed the Tran. If I didn't... So, goes Scizor. Uh, that's really bad for him that I got that Spadef drop there. Man, there I don't know his spread, so I can't calc the, the Draco. But, that's a really big Spadef drop there. Because now... One, if you BP and I get the cursed body, you're done. But now you have to make a decision. You have to make a prediction here, which you shouldn't feel like you should have to. Um, he's BPing. Mm, Chomp's a good mid ground there. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I could have just taken your Chomp. You BP. You, you make a man's play there. Uh... This is a bitch for a couple reasons. Can't go smear because it doesn't solve anything. So I have to take this Draco. It won't do too much. Um, but I didn't want all this damage on my Gator. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, surprise he EQ'd. Well, I guess you want to guarantee damage, right? Um. That's why I wanted the Dragon Dance, but I didn't want him switching. <sighs> Latios, Latios, Latios. How do I win this? Because mm. Crawdon's gonna fuck me up if I don't have this Gator and this Miracle. I just lose to bandage it. Yeah. I think I'm, that fucking living the Draco meteor really fucked my game plan up. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. I, I lost this one. I don't think I can win. Uh, no amount of sticky web or anything like that really solves this particular issue that I am struggling with. Um,. Ops or Suicune. So yeah, he has a well-constructed team for mine. The Haban, man. I mean, even without the Haban, the max speed Tran, it's not a very good. The Suicune shuts my Gator down. He has a counter for everything I have, except Nido King. Well, a hard counter at least, except for Nido King. Um, it doesn't really matter what I do at this point. He goes back to Latios and Silver. Um, I guess he could choke if he leaves Suicune in here, but this would be a bad decision. Actually, I always Earth Power here. Wow, he actually sacks Suicune. Huh. Maybe there's hope. No. Yes. Yes, there's a way. There's a way. Cursed body is gonna come through. Issue is, I need him to choke on the. So let's say he, I need for him to get crit here. Well, actually, he might not be. Um, no, I need him to. Mm, no, I can't win. Even if I were to crit him and I get the cursed body here, because my Gator took the damage. If I had something that could one shot Crawdon, maybe. But um. I'll have to take a jet plus a bullet punch. That's if he does a sack scissor here. But he has me here. So we'll just take the L and get to 1600. But I'm liking how I can't just use any old, you know, mashup of a team and beat the guys with the more solid teams with more experience that have been playing this metagame for a month. So 
Um, certainly, I could have won this game. It just the, the dude's team is tight, you know. Um, there was no uh, so he does sack situation. So that does provide a little bit more hope to the thing I was talking about. Um, for me to pull this off, he would need to not aqua jet here. Um, be banded. If he doesn't aqua jet, I have a shot. Like if I shot a ball, curse body. No curse body. No. So I need a curse body there. Should just jet again. Yeah, good play. Um, GG. So yeah, my points got snatched. Yeah, so about an hour on the dot there. Thank you all for watching. Um, this helped a bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I upload again. Maybe tomorrow. Peace.